If people on YouTube are telling you to quit your job, don't listen to it because uh, the economy is not doing that great right now. And it's very difficult to find a job. Despite what, what the news media says about the economy, is the economy is really not doing too good. Um, I don't believe that we've really recovered since the pandemic. Um, it's only been about two and a half years since the country really opened back up, which was like the summer or fall of 2021. And a lot of, uh, a lot of companies have been, and businesses have been struggling ever since. Um, if you were a non-essential worker um, in 2020, um, most likely you're probably struggling to find a job or a stable job to this day. Um, the reason why is because um, the so-called non-essential workers are the ones who, um, I don't know, did I say essential? I think non-essential workers are the ones who are probably having the hardest time finding work right now because the, the work is just non-essential. So um, the government has not really prioritized those kind of um, industries. So if you work like in, um, if you work in tech, if you work, um, I don't know, like, retail if you worked uh, entertainment um I'm trying to think of something else what's something else that's non-essential if you're working like finance um bank teller something like that you might have a hard time finding work especially these especially these days because you know ai has been um you know sort of taking over and replacing a lot of uh a lot of um a lot of the the positions um like uh you know cashiers bank tellers um even construction if you're working in, in construction you're probably having a hard time finding um stability you know construction is already kind of unstable because you know it's mostly um contractual work so you know it, it it kind of you you know you get work as it as it comes you know so seems like the only thing that's really consistent is anything that's essential so if you work in a healthcare system you know um, if you work um, yeah in a healthcare system you work as a teacher uh, in the education educational system um, law enforcement. Um, you know, uh, anything like that, you probably have a little bit more stability. If you're a truck driver, like if you have a CDL license, you're probably doing a little bit better, you know, um, even though I know that can be probably a little bit slow right now, but I know if you do have, if, you, if you're driving a truck, you're probably doing a little bit better. Um, but like I said, I think that if you are a non-essential worker from, the, from 2020, most likely you're still struggling to find um, decent or stable employment even to this day. You know, even me personally, you know, I work in IT, which is very unstable. Um, most of my work is, um, it comes as projects. So I probably get like 30 day projects. So I'll be employed for about 30 days. And after that, I gotta wait to see what, what comes next. I gotta keep looking. Um, the pay is not too bad, but unfortunately, it's not consistent. Um, now, I really don't want to go back to retail and some of the old jobs I used to work. I'm not saying that I'm too prideful to work there. It's just the the experience of working retail and working warehouses and stuff like that. You know, I really don't. Um, just you know, I just don't like the the, the type of work. I feel like I'm. And plus, I'm older now, so I don't know. I don't don't get me wrong. I'm gonna say I wouldn't go back if I don't need to, if I needed to. But um, it's something that I really don't. Um, I really don't want to go back to for right now. 
And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are, are struggling right now to find, um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are not working like you did before the pandemic. And um, yeah, the economy is really not doing that great right now, to be honest with you. That's why gig work is such a, a big thing. Even gig work like Uber and DoorDash and a lot of those delivery apps, a lot of those, those markets have been saturated you got people, older people, 60s, 70s years old, doing deliveries for these gig apps. And that should tell you a lot about, you know, it tells you a lot. So um, unfortunately, it's a, it's a big issue. Not sure what Joe Biden's gonna do about it, but um, I do have a, I did come up with an idea. I'm not sure if I should talk about it or give this idea that I have where um, something that can help boost the economy where you actually give people a card with cash on it or money on it that they can spend, but the, the card only has a limited, a, a, a limited amount of time that you have to spend that money. So basically say you have a card with $500 on it if you don't spend that money at a certain time, you actually lose that money. It disappears from the, the card. And that's sort of an incentive to get people to spend money and help boost the economy a little bit. I'm not sure if that's been tried before. Sort of like, um, um, was, was, was that, uh, the, sort of like that care package that they did back in 2020, 2019, 2020, whatever. The care package that they give where they give you a boost um, similar to that, but the difference is the money only stays on the car for a limited amount of time. And if you don't spend it at a certain time, you lose that money. Like it doesn't roll over to the next month. So you have to spend that money. And I think in a way that can be a good way to kind of sort of, um, you know, get people kind of boost the economy a little bit. You know, that's just some idea I came up with. I came up with that like last night, actually, for before I went to bed, that came into my mind, just sort of popped into my head. But um, that's all, I guess, I guess that's all I want to talk about in this video is, you know, if people are telling you to quit your job, don't quit your job. Um, unless it's really, really bad, really stressing you out, that's different. But, um, you know, finding a job is really difficult, especially a good paying job. And if you do find a good paying job, um, it might not be consistent, you know. Um, I know a lot of people work warehouse jobs who are being laid off consistently every month. Like they'll, like they'll go like weeks without working. So they have to keep going back and forth to, you know, do work and I don't know. Anyway, that's all I want to say in this video. I'll talk to you next time.